So Florida Panthers uh, facing many years of persecution from hunting and back in the uh, late 1800s and early 1900s uh, led to uh, the demise of, of puma populations all across the eastern United States. And so this is the last remaining uh, puma population in the eastern United States, east of the Mississippi River. And so as uh, they were being hunted in um, uh, throughout the southeast. Mm -hmm. This is the last remaining population here in the Everglades that held on. And, and so in, in 1990s there was about 30 animals left in the wild. Today there were up to about 180 to 2, 230. So there are starting to recover. We're starting to see a lot of fruits of our labor benefiting from the fact that it's been put on the endangered species list and a lot of efforts have gone in into conserving and, and um, uh, conserving the panther and, and conserving the landscape that is South Florida. Well, basically, uh, we have a twofold mission here at the Bristol Wildlife Sanctuary. We're a wildlife hospital, so obviously, I want people to understand that our main goal is to take in sick, injured, and orphaned wild animals that are native to the state of Florida. And our goal is really to get them back out in the wild if at all possible. Uh, majority of the animals we get in, which is about 90% of the animals, are actually injured or sick because of human related illness. Um, things like being uh, gunshot wounds, electrocution, being kept illegally as a pet, or being attacked by people's pet. So, we really want them to understand that our impact on them is great. So we do have the animals that are on exhibit that can't go back in the wild so that we can teach them about that. When they see them out in the wild, hopefully they'll be a little bit more cautious and they'll help with our conservation mission. We currently have three panthers housed here at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. Um, the oldest one is Makaya. Uh, Makaya actually came with her brother Miko, who unfortunately we lost last year. Um, Makaya has been with us for over a decade now, and she came in when she was a young kitten, and she was being used in an Ohio shopping mall where you could pay like ten dollars and have your picture taken with a Florida panther, or most likely a cougar. You know, cougars, panthers, mountain lions, pumas are all basically the same species of cat. Um, when the cat got too big to be used and was no longer safe, they decided to sell it into Florida, which is illegal. Um, luckily, it was detected at the airport, and the cat was taken away. And Bush Wildlife was called to take her in while pending court case and investigation, and then we received to see custody of her. So she's been with us ever since. the new kid on the block. <laughs> he just came to us about six months ago from California. So he is what you would actually consider a mountain lion. And um, he was found at about five months of age um, in the middle of a forest fire in Butte Valley, California. He was standing up on top of a tree stump, extremely emaciated, very dehydrated, and he had burns on his feet and around his face. 
He went to a rehab facility. Um, they nursed him back to health, uh, but he was around humans too much to go back out in the wild, along with injuries he sustained to his feet and his eyes. His vision is somewhat limited. So he um, didn't have anywhere to go out there. They placed him in another facility that didn't have a nice big habitat for him. They contacted us because they heard that we had lost one of our cats to old age. And so they got in a van from California. They drove east. We hopped in a van from Florida. We drove west. We met in the middle, and Tom looking here to live with us. We still have time to, to, to protect and, and save the panther. We're, we've seen a lot of success here recently. We've gone from maybe 30 individuals in, in the 1990s to now 25 years later, uh, where we're at uh, close to 220. So to remove it from the endangered species list, we'll need three top populations uh, of about 240 animals. So uh, 240 adults. Um, and so uh, we're seeing a lot of recovery efforts, but there's still a lot of threats too. So we have to mitigate those threats. And one of the biggest threats is human population, where we are, uh, we're moving more and more people into Florida and into wild Florida, and we're severing a lot of their habitats. And so as long as we can protect the land, uh, make sure that we have good lands, not just for agri agricultural and uh, purposes, but also uh, those lands are, are open space for our wildlife too. And so those, those threats of, of more and more population um, have to be dealt with in a, in a, in a real dynamic way with good uh, municipal planning. And if we can plan where our developments go in a, in a, in a responsible way, uh, we'll have a chance to, to recover the species. Hi, Makaya. Uh, hi. I don't wanna go, so I'd like to know if you wanna go. With me all alone, I know where we're going, nothing is. 